we're gonna do a quick walk around and review and um, do a quick tutorial on how to start work on and some information about a kids quad the kids quad is made by two different companies one of them is Puk, which is out of Austria who makes vintage uh, motorcycles uh, most famously for the 1970s mopeds as well as the Pinsgauer, which is a big all-terrain vehicle and a few other things uh, so Puk is out of Austria they usually specialize in two-stroke engines and the other company is Hero. Hero is an Indian company who does a lot of, uh, I would say, clone or um, less expensive, quali less quality uh, dirt bikes, quads, uh, three-wheelers, those kind of things. So anyways, there's a little uh, view on this. This is a little bit of an older one, I would say about a late 90s or mid 90s maybe even late 80s it's a fiberglass body it's got these uh six inch wheels i just put new tires on today and i just want to kind of go over it with you guys so um your on switch is down your off switch is up so in the on position this is going to be your choke if you have a cable this is going to run down under here and go to your carburetor so it's usually for starting and then you have your throttle right here on this side you're gonna have your rear brake, and that's all the uh, braking you have for this vehicle. I believe this is the horn. Mine is not uh, working properly, it's broken. But I think when the bike's running, you can hit that. And then this is actually your starter button. Again, mine is broken, not working properly. However, if you put a battery uh, up underneath the bike right in this area right here, you can actually uh, get the bike to have automatic starter, which is kind of cool. Um, and then uh, to start the vehicle, you have your fuel cock or pet cock here. You're in the on position. If you turn it this way, you're in off, and down is going to be reserve. So uh, the way it works is um, you turn it on, and then you have fuel running from your tank to your pet cock, and then you can turn it off. When you're not riding the vehicle, I suggest turning it off, starting it, and riding it until it runs out of fuel. That way, uh, next time you ride it you won't have dried gas in your carburetor so you can even if it's been a year you can just put new fuel in it and uh, start it right up so anyways uh, the way you'd start this would be your pull up almost like a hand kickstarter but in reverse um, if you're having trouble starting your bike you would want to go ahead and pull this choke uh, and start it I, I would maybe give it a little bit of gas but um, you would pretty much just want to uh, pull the choke and give it a couple of pulls. If it doesn't start even when you're doing that, obviously make sure you have fuel in your tank. If it's a two stroke, you'll have to mix the fuel. I would say about a 35 to one, 40 to one ratio. And your carburetor is under here. Um, a lot of times it happens the jets on these are real small brass jets and they get clogged with gas and uh, it turns to varnish, turns into glue, if you will. And uh, the best tip to clean those uh, small brass jets is use a, a small E-string on a guitar. The smallest string on an electric guitar or acoustic guitar works really good to clean out those jets. So anyways, if you were to clean your carburetor, you would take off that bolt right there. And uh, you would take off this whole, this whole body right here, which is uh, two bolts under here. That one... Uh, can't see it looks like it's that one right there that bolt right there another one on the other side and then maybe uh, your floorboard as well and then this whole seat cover comes off and then you would pull the tank with the fuel lines and then you would get to the carburetor take apart the carburetor clean it up put it back in make sure all the debris and everything's out of there use a wire brush and carburetor cleaner to clean that out make sure the uh, brass jet you can take out i believe with a six millimeter wrench or socket and just make sure you can see through the jet there should be two an idle jet and a main jet make sure both are see-through all the way through if not clean them with a piece of uh, guitar string put them back together and the bike should start these are great running bikes top speeds probably less than 20 and they're a little bit torquey but not a lot it's not going to do wheelies or anything but they're fun for uh i would say a five six seven year old um, and I'm 40, 200 pounds, 
and uh, I can ride on it and it's a, just a lot of fun. They're really good bikes and they were they're a little bit rare too. They don't uh, they didn't make a whole lot of them and if you're into the vintage moped world like I am, they're pretty sought after and they're kind of just a quirky little fun bike. But this is a review on the Pook Hero uh, HP it says there. It has a little wheelie thing and it also says Spectro. Not sure if that's the model or not. It did have some uh, information right here, but it's all sun baked off. But it's kind of a cool little bike. I just want to share that with you guys. Do a little review on a couple of my bikes that I have in my personal collection. As you can see, we have a whole lot. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.